New tonight, a teen convict has a warning for parents about what he says is the drug of choice for teenagers, synthetic marijuana or K2. The drug is cheap, it's easy to score, hard for parents to detect, and many times it's even legal. That does not mean it's safe, though. Lewis Bolton has been investigating this teen trend for six months now, going undercover, confronting those who sell it. And, Lewis, despite efforts to get rid of this stuff, you found it's still out there. Yeah, it is, Matt. We're live at University and Dean Road, and we had a few teenagers tell us that there are a number of stores in this area that sell this stuff. We found a store that sells it. They sell a lot of it, and they're doing everything they can to protect themselves from the law. It's just as easy as buying a pack of gum. For just $20, our undercover producer was able to walk into an East Orange County smoke shop and walk out with a drug teenagers are using to get high. A local six investigation in November first exposed this shop selling herbal incense. It's known to kids as synthetic weed or K2. Six months later, they're still selling it. But this time around, they had even more varieties for sale, and they wanted our producer to show ID and sign a waiver before purchasing it. Please turn the camera off. You know that they're using these products to get no, high. Not. Then why are you asking them to sign a waiver? protect ourselves in case of any possibility of misuse. Misuse that led to one man's death and landed the teenager who was smoking it in prison. You're high right now? Yes, sir. In October of 2012, 17-year-old Anthony Maffa was high on a synthetic marijuana when he crashed his car and killed a man. In the past two years of my life, it's all one big regret. Maffa is now 19 and pled guilty to vehicular homicide. He is serving a two and a half year prison sentence at Lancaster Correctional Institute. He was candid and stoic when he spoke to us exclusively. Did you ever have a problem buying it? No, no, sir. He says numerous tobacco shops sold it to him, and his drug career was fast and furious. He started smoking weed at 16 and graduated to K2. It was cheaper and easier to score. And he says it was a better high. Well, K2 is definitely a craving for that high to keep going. Until that high came to a tragic end when he killed a bicyclist, 53-year-old Forrest Flanagan, a devoted husband to his wife Kristen for 30 years. I just felt heartbroken. The Attorney General has banned over 100 different synthetic marijuana compounds, but just as one is banned, another one hits the market. The store owner we confronted this month says he even keeps a list of the compounds that are illegal and doesn't sell anything that's banned. When you see the stories of kids getting in accidents, killing people. Do you feel any sense of responsibility? No, I don't because I'm not doing anything to promote that. But tell that to Kristen Flanagan, who lost the love of her life, and tell it to Anthony Maffa, who lost part of his. How often do you think about him now, or do you think about Every him day. now? Every single day. If not daily, that's why I don't think about him or, or his family. Now, the Orange County Sheriff's Office recently got test kits where they can go in and test these substances immediately. They tell me a number of the products that they've been testing recently are testing negative, which means they don't contain the banned compounds, but we know that kids are still using it to get high. Matt. All right, Lewis Bolton in Winter Park, thank you very much. And it's just one of those issues that doesn't seem to have a solution in the near future. And it's amazing that that's even legal right now. Yeah. So.